Hi right, guys, as you all know, Strinking Machine have been around for a long time. All sorts of types. Um, from one of these to the very small ones. But unfortunately, for what I wanted to do, I found I wanted to do more. I wanted to do more than this machine did. And I could not justify the price of some of the machines. So I thought I'll build myself one. But the most important thing, I wanted one that could shrink in the middle of a panel, that could have a larger throat, and it could shrink a lot. I wanted a machine that could shrink like a puckering iron without making all the damage on the metal. So I've built this machine with bigger heads, different strokes, and a very soft stroke in order to be able to shrink in the middle of a panel. Okay, down here we got a downstroke timer and an upstroke timer, which is not big news. They all got that. But what I wanted to do on this is to have a, a very, very minimal tolerances and a real high tolerances. We also got a one stroke. In other words, when you push the, the pedal, you're only going to get one stroke, or we got continuous stroke. So when you hold the pedal down, it just keeps going. Up here I've got a handle that gives me very minimal again or very large up and down on the jaw. Depending on how much I want to shrink, how much I want to gather or how little I want to gather. I've also got a near gauge here that can run up to 85, 90 psi, but I can bring the psi down depending on how far and how much I want to shrink. We here got a piece of metal with a 55 mil flange, and on this side, 110. And I'll string both and show you what I mean. As you can see, as I was saying to you before, I wanted that. I want something that can pull really quick. And here I've got four or five shots, and you can clearly see how this is going around. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strings. And have a look at it, guys. Now, obviously, if I come in further, it'll string even further. But let me show you on the big, on the big piece here, on the white piece. This, at this point, the machine was about three quarters of the way. Now, I'm going to really put it at full and get rid of all that. In some cases, you don't have to. You want that there, but in some cases, you want to get rid of it. Okay, that's come around a lot more, and it's a lot fuller, as you can see. But now, of course, I want to clean this up. I can do it on the, on the mandrel or on the wheel, but this machine, I can adjust it now to smooth all this off as I'm going. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to decrease the, decrease the, uh, the height, change the air pressure, and I'm ready to go. Okay, I've got rid of most of the nasties, but I can go even further. I will decrease the lengthen of the jaws and decrease the uh, air, and I'll smooth it off even further. You can see this is three passes, and you can quite easily put that on the wheel, but if you've got a wheel, couple it with the flipper, and it should be pretty smooth. We've got a little bit of aluminium here, 1.6. I'm going to put the machine back on full circle. You can see that it brings aluminium back fairly, fairly quick. Off camera, I've just cut a circle and went three times around the perimeter of the circle. Three times around. And have a look how that brought that back up. I hope you like the machines and the information they're giving you. I certainly like it. I think I've done the right thing. Keep shrinking.